Here's a golf cart that just came in last night. It's got a gas motor in there. Just flip the seat up. It's a Robin motor. There's the model serial number plate there. EC25-2PG. Came in not running good, so I cleaned the carb, replaced the fuel filter, fuel lines, this line here. And it runs, but there's a problem. So I did a compression test on it, and it's pretty low. I'll actually do another test and show you what the reading is. Plug on this one is down here. You can see it there. And I've got my plug grounded, just so that it's better for the coil. Got my compression tester all screwed in over there. So this is all I'm getting, 80 pounds at the best. It's pretty low. Even when you turn over the engine with your hand here, the clutch, it's easy to turn over. So what I've done is I've removed the muffler so that I can see the piston and the rings under there. So I'll show you what's going on under there. So I'm underneath the cart right now and here's the piston. You can see that there is a whole ring missing on the top of the piston. Look at that. No wonder it's got low compression. So that's pretty bad. It makes the plugs go black right away. It's gutless, hard to start. The piston with the screwdriver, it's loose. Look at that. So that's pretty bad. It needs the piston, rings, and cylinder probably. I usually like to change all three because then you're sure it's going to run right. I'm going to touch the piston with my finger and listen to the noise. That's the piston wobbling back and forth on the cylinder walls. It's amazing it even starts. Anyways, I'll have to tell the guy about this. Uh, I don't know if he's going to want to spend the money. I assume it's going to be pretty expensive to repair that. Just for the parts even will be expensive. Not even thinking about the labor yet. So here's a better view of the loose in the cylinder and the piston. Look at that. Loose on the sides, up and down. The ring looks scored a bit. This ring's totally missing. I can even put my screwdriver in the groove. Oh, well, that's crazy. There's a lot of carbon on the exhaust port. And you can see it's been leaking here around the base gasket. There's a bit of oil and the dust has stuck on it over the years. It's basically got a snowmobile clutch. Pretty well the same thing. And another pulley here. They look built pretty tough. Look at this differential. That looks pretty solid. So at this point here I'll just put the muffler back on and start it up and show you what she does. Going reverse. Here's that tree in my front yard. Somebody wanted to see that in one of my previous videos it's a maple tree anyways i'm pretty amazed that with the problem you saw that i showed you previously in the video that it still runs 
it's a bit gutless, it's a bit hard to start, sometimes it backfires a bit. But I guess you could still use it, but the thing is, is you could be stuck out in the golf course in the middle of nowhere, and the thing will be dead there. They are hard to push when the motor is dead, I can tell you that. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next videos. Bye now.